Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show how to create a forensic image and um, how to add an evidence, uh, the image which was previously processed. To begin with, open the FTK Imager, click File and Create Disk Image. Okay, here you can see like five options. The physical drive is a primary store, um, storage hardware or the component within a device which is used to store, retrieve and organize data. The logical drive is generally a drive space that is created over a physical hard disk. A logical drive has its parameters and functions because it operates independently. And finally, image file, which is for previously created images. You could just click add evidence and click the image file and it would open the file straight away. But for now, we'll go with the physical drive, which I have an external USB device, one gigabyte, as you could see, and then click finish. Here, just click add. And then select the format of the image that you want to create. There are four different formats. RAW, it's a bit by bit copy of the original evidence which is created without any additions or deletions. But they do not contain any metadata. You could go for Smart. It is an image format that was used for Linux which is not popularly used anymore. Or you could go for E01, it stands for in case evidence file, um, which you will come across um, with your studies. And uh, this is commonly used format for imaging um, and it's, it is similar to. So here we're going to go with raw data now and click next. And here you could add your case number, evidence number, like in, effectively you could just create a case. So I'm going to go with like 001, it's a evidence number, just, just say 10005, unique description. Just say uh, fraud investigation and uh, examiner. Say me notes for learning purpose and then click next. And here finally add the destination of the image file, name of the image file, and then click finish. So I am going to just place this in a desktop, um, you know, just to access quickly and I'm going to give it case 101 and click finish. Once you have added the destination path, you can now start with the imaging and also click the verify um, option to generate a hash. So I'm going to click start. Honestly, don't know how long it's going to take. Let's wait for a couple of minutes. If it's going to take long, I might need to just stop the recording and start again, but it seems like working just fine. Um, the purpose of I'm leaving it on is just to, I want to show you the whole process. So I think it's nearly done. There you go, it is successfully created. And let me just maximize this. The MD5 hash, um, it matches the report hash. So it is verified as well as the SHA-1. And now whenever you acquire an image, uh, this must match. If it doesn't, then uh, the evidence um, is not valid and you c it cannot be presented to the court of law. And okay, close. Okay, the process um, is successful, and you can see a um, summary of the image um, that you acquired. It has all the details, which includes MD5, Shawan, um, hashes, and everything. And um, just click close. It also creates a text document 
which is on the desktop. That is the image file, as you can see. And you've got a case document, which has all the imaging um, process details. And uh, let's go back to FTK Major. So now, if you go to File, and then you already created an image. So basically what you do, add evidence. And this time you don't have to go to physical drive because you already created one. So just go to image file, next, browse. And it's on my desktop, Let's see, case one, open, and then finish. There you go, your case is here and this is how you create an image and you add evidence item. I'll catch you up on the next video. Thank you for watching.